This is a KSC-TV News Update. I'm Daniel Soletti. A water main burst this morning in the Paramount Building, flooding two basements with 160 gallons of water. At 165 Main Street, Public Works Director Stephen Barrett said the break was caused by a faulty valve. Twenty personnel from Vermont's Department of Public Works and Fire Department pumped water out for the two basements, taking about three hours. For that time, the people of downtown Brattleboro, Vermont, were without water until it was fully restored. An Amtrak train collided with a pickup truck in Charleston, New Hampshire. The pickup truck went over a guardrail and landed while the Vermonter train approached. Firefighters arrived on the scene to help the pickup driver, but could not contact Amtrak in time to stop the train. None of the passengers were injured, and the pickup driver was taken to a hospital in Vermont, where investigations are still open. The driver has been released since the accident on Sunday night. The New Hampshire Air National Guard will be the first in the country to receive the re new refueling tankers. Pease Air Base in Newington is getting 12 new KS KC-46A planes, replacing the older KC-135s. The United States military changed the design to the new Pegasus to update one seen in the 1950s. On March 24th, the old tankers will be gone, and by early fall, the new ones will be in. This has been a KSC-TV News Update. I'm Daniel Saletti. Thank you for watching.